everyone, it's Lindsay and I am doing my 10 to 12 week pregnancy video. Um, I didn't think I was going to get one up today and it's not really the time that I normally film. Um, but Derek took the baby to the grocery store just to pick up a couple things so I had some free time while Audrey is doing like a archaeological dig thing she got at Target. So anyway, I have some free time. So I figured I would do my 10 to 12 week video. Uh, today I am 12 weeks and 5 days. Today is March 8th. And um, to say that this time has flown is so cliche and I know that, but it truly has. It, I can't I can't handle the fact that I'm almost in my second trimester. It's insane. So insane. Like, silly. So... Yeah, um, I'm really excited to show you guys my belly. Um, it's definitely popped. <laughs> um, I also, I think, will be able to attach some um, video footage of an ultrasound I had. I think it was, it was like 11 weeks. Um, and the baby actually had it ha like hand up to his mouth. Um, and like doing things with his hands and like stretching out and you could see like the jaw moving and it was oh, just I'm so in love with this little one it's it's kooky so anyway uh, to get started I have a teeny list this probably won't be a very long one because it's been pretty uneventful thankfully um, so let's just get started um, as of 12 weeks the baby is around six centimeters. Uh, this one's are always measured a little bit big, so it could be a little bit bigger or smaller, but it's around six centimeters, which is so weird. Um, that's like an actual measurement that like you don't have to be like, ah, it's so little. It's like an actual measurement. Like it's pretty substantial. It said it was the size of uh, an apricot, I think, an apricot or a ripe plum or a large plum or something like that, two and a half inches, whatever measurement. It's a pretty big kiddo in there. Like, it's hard to believe it's already that big and in the last few weeks it's just like grown so much. Um, but it's, yeah, everything looks good so far. Um, as far as symptoms go, I would say overall I feel completely myself. Um, I don't have those early pregnancy feelings anymore really at all um, with the exception of some food aversions and it's not even like a aversions uh, like things make me sick they don't there's just things that sound good and then some things that don't sound good and not like nauseous don't sound good just mm, I don't want that so um, this week things that have really sounded good were fruity pebbles which is so weird um, I haven't had Fruity Pebbles in a long time. I do love them, but they sounded like almost irresistible this week. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else that sounded like really good. Um, nothing's like jumping out. Um, but there's just been things that we've meal planned that I'm like, mm, I just don't want that. <laughs> so um, overall, I've tried to make healthiest choices. Uh, I definitely have been liking carbs more than I normally do. Uh, that's just the thing that I keep reaching to. Oh, one thing that has sounded really good, um, and I've had a couple times, more than a couple times, um, is mashed potatoes. I just, like the that carby, like home style thing, kind of salty, sounds good. Um, I haven't really been into sweets that much that much at all um it's been kind of like more salty foods with the exception of fruity pebbles um another thing is um i would actually say <laughs> this sounds so lame saying but i would actually say my worst symptom are horrible pregnancy dreams um i don't really remember having such intense dreams with audrey or cooper i i know that i had them um but for example, with Audrey and Cooper, I never had a dream where I could see the the baby's face. 
um, and have a clear picture of if it was a boy or a girl. Like I never had a dream about that. I had one dream when I was pregnant with Audrey that it was a girl, but it was like this Polly Pocket baby that you could like take in and out and put in your pocket and it was so weird, but weird. I And in my dream it was a girl, but this pregnancy, the dreams are so vivid um, so realistic and just some of them are really really horrible like horrible nightmares um, I woke up a couple times with like a wet pillow from crying in my sleep um, I've had some funny ones too like <laughs> I had a dream about a week ago that I was performing the Super Bowl halftime show but it was just like a cheer and dance kind of show and the coach of the Vikings Mike Zimmer um, needed an extra player so he invited me on the team and I didn't have a helmet or shoes and I remember like that very vividly that I kept saying I don't have a helmet or shoes and I it was like the last two minutes of the game and I caught the interception of a touchdown or something like somehow I scored um, or not an interception like I caught a pass like over another player and scored a touchdown and we won and we got on the bus and Reggie Bush, who's a Saints player, or used to be when I followed NFL closer, um, was really mad and said that it wasn't fair that I won because I didn't have shoes on. And then he noticed my belly and he said, and you're pregnant. And I said, well, your wife's pregnant, if you don't know his wife's pregnant. Um, and then we were like best friends. So so weird but it was so real at the time like I really woke up with this like hot dog feeling like I won the Super Bowl so silly and then like that will fo be then followed like I'll wake up to go pee and then come back and I'll have a horrendous dream and so the dreaming I would definitely say is one of the worst parts um and so that's just Bizarre. I've never experienced such vivid, weird, realistic pregnancy dreams. Really quickly, I want to tell you about the other dream. Um, I had a dream that I had the baby, this baby, and it was a boy, and his name we named him Graham. And um, it's not. I don't. It's not like that's the name that I love. Like it's just the name that this kid was in my dream, and he. I just remember seeing him so clearly like he was a little more olivey skinned which does run in our family but neither one of my kids have it so far but he was a little bit more olivey um with like a like a light brown hair like mine's kind of like a dark dirty blonde this was like a light sandy brown color kind of um and he didn't have a lot of hair but he had enough to do like a little mohawk at the top and he had these like beautiful almond shaped blue eyes and I can just see him so perfectly still this has been weeks like when I was 10 weeks and I can just see him so perfectly it's so bizarre like if this baby doesn't come out a boy looking like that it'll be so weird because that's all I can think of now um and that kind of brings me to um a lot of people especially now that people are kind of finding out that we're not going to find out the gender um, people kind of try and ask me, well, do you have any feelings either way? And when I first got pregnant, uh, I would have said girl. I just had a girl vibe for some reason. Um, and then we saw the baby for the first time. And I mean like teeny baby peanut, not even a centimeter long, like so little at like six weeks. And whenever I saw the baby, I just was like, no, I think that's a boy. And I can't tell you what it was. It made me think that. I have no idea what came to me at that point, but I just thought a boy. Ever since I've seen this baby, I just feel like the baby looks like a boy. And I just feel like all of the old wives' tales are kind of true so far for me. Um, and this pregnancy pregnancy is really similar to Cooper's pregnancy. Um, I don't know. I just have such strong boy vibes and it's so weird because this baby could easily come out and be a girl and there's 50% chance of that and 
it could happen. And then I'll feel really rude <laughs> saying the whole time that this baby looks like a boy and it's a girl. But I just have a weird boy feeling. So we'll see, obviously. Um, I have decided that I'm not gonna peek anymore, um, just quickly on the ultrasound. Um, because even though I am not quite 13 weeks, um, some people I know have been able to find out that early, especially if the baby's a boy. Um, and I mean, I know what I'm looking for when I look on an ultrasound to see those parts. I've done tons of gender ultrasounds for just friends and coworkers and things. No, I'm not trained as like an ultrasound tech, but we use them every day and we've received training with them. So I know what I'm looking for and I don't want to stumble upon it on accident. Um, so I am not going to look anymore. Uh, I have a Doppler. If I'm nervous, I will just use my Doppler. It works great. So not looking anymore. Uh, the next time we'll see this kiddo will be at the anatomy scan, um, which obviously is not scheduled yet. We'll schedule that at our next appointment. So um, on to the next thing. Uh, let's see. I'm in basically a lot of maternity stuff. Like I said, my belly has popped. Um, and some of my jeans still fit, but it's just more comfortable to wear, um, you know, maternity pants. I am having a problem though because the maternity stuff that I had for Cooper was for a little bit different temperature than what it is now. So I'm gonna get in kind of a clothes red. I don't really want to go buy a whole new wardrobe of maternity stuff because I just feel like it's so wasteful. But I almost kind of have to or at least buy like a couple staple pieces. Um, so we'll see about that. Um, I got a pair of maternity jeans from Target. They're super cute, like ankle jeans with some distressing. And uh, I got a medium because most of the time I'm a medium. Um, and I didn't even try them on. I didn't think I needed to. I got them home and tried them on. They were a little bit loose. And like too loose to wear every day yet but it's like I don't want to take them back and get a small because I'm only going to grow and gain weight so it's it just is kind of lame I'm not a small by any means I'm normally like a medium large sometimes depending and so it's just a little frustrating I'm just in between sizes right now and I don't for sure don't want to buy a couple different sizes of different pieces like that's just so wasteful to me so I will not be doing that I will just be making things work until they actually work <laughs> um, as far as working out I have continued working out although these last few weeks for work and Audrey's t-ball and just life have been a little busier so I'm doing a 48 mile in March challenge but um, it's just I'm not getting as much time like I had the first part of the pregnancy to run or bike or work out so I'm gonna have to figure out how to squeeze that in because it makes me feel so much better I just need to figure that out as far as scheduling goes um, I think that might be it uh, I'm going to I guess show you my belly and then um, if you guys have any questions or anything then um, yeah just leave those below or comments or I would love to hear just like initial thoughts of like what you think this baby might be I would love I think that's so fun on videos when you kind of guess um, I know it's early but I think it's still fun and any boy name help that you guys can pass on I'm telling you if this child is a boy it will be the stress of a century we're trying to go in with one girl name which we have and one boy name, which we absolutely don't have. And coming up with a boy's name for Cooper was torture. It was so not fun. It's not even like I said last video. It's not even like we like different names. We just don't like the same names. Like we like the same type names, just not at all the same names of that type. <laughs> so it's, and both of us like digs our feet in like, well, I can't name a baby that. Why? <laughs> and so we just, it's such a struggle to come up with a name. So any boy name help, um, we really go for more traditional, um, classic names. 
So even though I know there are names that are so cute out there, if they're different or spelled different, we will likely not choose those. So um, yeah, any name help would be great. So I will show you my belly. Okay, so I had to move because there's nowhere to like stand the camera up and I'm in sweatpants, so I wanted to keep the most flattering angle. So here is from the front, you can't really tell. This is a maternity shirt, um, but here's from the side. I'm only almost 13 weeks. Like, yes, this is the end of the evening and so it's a little bigger, but it's, it's pretty, pretty big. It's from the other side. Try and come back a little bit so you can see. And it's not right on the black. And then here's the shirt up. Definitely see that. Sign. And then if I suck in, it still stays pooched right there. So that's the belly. So, yeah. If you guys have any questions, leave those down below. And like I said, please leave your boy names down there too because we need some help. I'll talk to you guys later for probably 13, 14, 13 and 14 weeks-ish. So thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Right there. Mm -hmm. Look at it. Oh. Yeah, right in the mouth. Look, look, look. Look, the jaw's moving. Oh, my gosh.